What is happening, guys? Welcome back to AC6 New Game Plus Plus. Alright, so I was struck with the norovirus. It's been going around this area, so I've had a stomach bug for the past couple days. So, been home from the gym, so I want to work on this Let's Play a little bit more today. So, I might, might as well make use of the time that I have off from the gym. Uh, but, so, let's uh, get right back into this. Uh, I think we unlocked something in the analysis, didn't we, last time? Or no, wait, no. That's right. It's been a few days since I played this, so I want to remember where we were. I guess I guess we beat that analysis. I guess we're right back in the mission. Steal the survey data. Okay. All right. Got a job for you, 621. It's a request from one of the Balaam companies. Church and Gun 13 Raven. This job comes from our subsidiary, Dafa. The operation will take place in the central ice fields, Yalmar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Ark of the Survey Camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archippus launched survey drones to gather data. Okay, this is just the one where we get where we get those drones. That's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I I did I I shouldn't say I didn't play. I have I have been playing the past few days, but I haven't been playing like the actual game. I've just been building mechs. I built uh, a lot of really cool mechs. I, I started with the cosplay mechs. So I built a Berserker mech from Guts. I think that's turned out really cool. I built Streletzia from uh, from Darling of the Franks. The closest I could get. I, I spent a lot of time on her, but I think we came pretty close. And then Ikaruga. So a lot of people don't know about this mech anime, but Knights and Magic, if you have not watched Knights and Magic, it's a newer mech anime. I really enjoyed that one. And this is one of the really, really cool mechs in that anime. So I've been going through and slowly building and making cosplay mechs. So it's pretty cool. Um, but we are going to use, uh, let's see here. This one's a survey one, right? I mean, we could use a tetrapod. Honestly, we could use anything. It doesn't really matter. Um, did I build any new mechs here? I don't remember. Ripper. I don't think I've showed you guys Ripper yet. We'd use Ripper. Yeah, let's use Ripper. Six two one. Are you still hearing things? And yeah, I do plan on posting up um, build videos, but I want to finish the Let's Play first, though, so... That way I have the best equipment. Alright, let's find out if this one changed at all. Last time this one was pretty simple. Just uh, some survey data, I think, and that's it. See? Oh no, this is a uh Here you go. Uh where'd the where'd the tetrapod go? That was weird. He just he vanished.
it's like he fell off the map or something. Tetrapod went to. I kind of. I think he fell. I honestly think he just fell. But I didn't. I don't think I got credit for the kill though. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Looks like you were off with some feathers. They're taking their drones back to HQ. I want you to find them and stop them. Oh, this is that mission. Oh crap. This is this gets kind of insane. I don't know if I chose the right mech for this dude for this job. Kind of forgot about that. After a while, all the playthroughs go together and you're like, oh yeah, I already did this one. I'm like, no, I guess I didn't for this playthrough. Take out all the trash. That must be independent work. Shut it down before Bayless gets hold of our data. where they let out the HCs, right? Yep. They send in an enforcement squad. Raven, 
take out these ones first. Take out the other lasers first. Here first. One repair kit remaining. This is not the mech for this dude job. So I can't dodge this damn laser this time. So I'm gonna just take it out. We've deployed drones. Intercept six to one. I think I did it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did do it. Came close, though. Right. Yeah, that was close. from the Vespers. Haven't talked since we climbed the wall. I'd love to catch up, but I'll cut to the chase. The PCA has deployed its suppression fleet. And now it's laying down the law all over Rubicon. I think this is We've the same dialogue. have several survey bases, and Balaam's in a sorry state too. For their part, the Rubicon Liberation Front sees this as an opportunity. Now, if you ask me, they're counting their eggs before they're hatched. At this rate, the corpse, the Rubiconists, and the independent mercs will go down together. I'm sending you a request from the Archivist Group. We could use the Wall Climber's help. Pretty sure that was all the same dialogue. One new message. I see you got a call from V4. I've been contacted as well by the Balaam group. Seems both sides have been forced to halt the Coral Survey. Check the briefing, 6-2. Raven, I've also picked up a job for you. It's not just the corporations who have their eye on you. The Rubiconians do too. Following the PCA's attack, the Rubicon Liberation Front has established a division in the Central Ice Field. This job comes from their commander. Okay, what's the missions? Okay, so we have Prevent Corporate Salvage of New Tech. Tunnel Sabotage. Okay, so um, 
Let me look at the paper that shows me how to get this, get the true ending real quick. Pretty sure we have to protect. I think. Let's see here. Okay, right here, chapter three. It says we need to prevent corporate salvage of new tech. Okay, this is a hard mission too. I remember this one. This one's kind of crazy. You have to take out, out an HC and three LCs. But last time we did it pretty well though. All right, prevent corporate salvage of new techs. So what we got to do. All right. All right, let's take this on. I always forget you have to click back on the game to be able to activate that. All right, there we go. This job came to us from the de facto leader of the Rubicon Liberation Front. Let's see what it says, Raven. I think this is the one we did last time. This is Middle Flatwell, Liberation Front Central Icefield Command. We and the Bellius Command are ramping up against the corporations. Yeah, I think it is. That sounds familiar. All right, we're going to need something that can really take out that that HC. We could use a cosplay build, Berserker. He's pretty crazy good. Um, I also went through two and built the One Warrior series. So basically, I have a One Warrior series mech for every situation that I might need. I would just want to do that. But uh, yeah. Um, let's see here. Last time we used Phantom, I think, for this, right? And we got him, got it done, but man, it was hard. No, wait, no, no, no. We used, I remember what we used. We used, we used Voidwalker. That's what we used, which actually worked pretty well. But I think we can do this mission a lot better, though. I wonder how Missile Lock would work. I never did paint him yet. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Let's let's test out Berserker. He's fast. He might be able to do this. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try Berserker. It's exceptionally rare to get a direct request for liberation from leadership. Perhaps the situation has changed their attitudes too. All right, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We took out the HC first. We're going to do that same thing first. Because you have a choice. You can take out the LCs or the HC first. I, the LCs are nowhere near as hard. Berserker might not be the one to do here. Okay, Berserker's not it. He's definitely not it. This thing is made for like close quarters combat, and this is not the build for that. We need something that is ranged. Ranger. Ranger should be able to do this. Main system activating combat mode. I hate fighting these HCs though. They suck. Planetary closure administration LC 
One of my least favorite enemies in the game. They're just annoying. Alright, Elsie's. Come on. Lieutenant! How could his HC fail? It must have been that AC. Take it out. One. There's three LCs. You live up to your name, Raven. You fight like a bird in flight. I do wonder if there's other carts here. Anything here that we missed. But who knows? I mean there might be something we missed here. This might be something I have to revisit on stream once we go through and try to get better ranks on all these missions. No new messages. Raven, I've been thinking about what Middle Flatwell said. To fly beyond Rubicon's scorched skies and chase the freedom we never knew. The others are so used to fighting and shouting slogans that they've given up thinking. But Flatwell, he's exploring a potential for something new. I think that was new dialogue. I mean, Flatwell betrayed us last time, so I mean, I can't see how that's going to be good, but we'll just have to see. Maybe he won't betray us this time. I have my doubts though. Okay, attack the refueling base, eliminate V. Whatever that guy is. Okay, so we gotta do the stealth mission again. This time we're just gonna kill Swinbur Swinborn. Eliminate Swinburne of the Vespers. Yeah, we'll just kill him this time. Um, let's do. What time are we at? 24 minutes? Oh, yeah, we can definitely do attack the refueling base. This one's not bad. Um, okay. Let's see here. This one has two ACs that come after us at the very end. Uh, I wonder how Gold Scar would hold up. Gold Scar, he's fast. Not a lot of AP though. Pulsar's good. I'm gonna whip out something we haven't really used. Odachi. We could bring him into this. That might be a fun one for him to go. 
He's more of a melee type, but uh, he might work for this. I'm not going to really worry about the fuel storage tanks. Why is the lock-on working so crappy lately? Did they break that in the last update? There was an update to this game, and ever since then I feel like the lock-on just has been shitty. Unless I just bump it or something, I don't know, man. I would, we explored this place data. last time. Head for the target. We, uh... Yeah, we went through all this last time. If you didn't know, there's a couple Project logs down there you can get Terminate. on the river. But, uh, we got them last time, so I'm not gonna worry about them. What the hell booster am I using in this mech? Am I using an old booster? Did I forget to replace the booster of this mech? I'm wondering if I did. I think I did. <laughs> I gotta fix that. I just realized that. Yeah, this boot this mech is slow as shit. Well, this will be interesting then. I mean it's it has good capacity, but I have a feeling that this mech is not supposed to be this slow. I think I have a Ming Tan uh, booster or Ming Tan generator in this thing, which it's not a bad generator, but it's slow. I think it's good to take out all the rest of these before you start the boss fight, probably. I just thought about that. I was like, I was just going to start the boss fight, but probably not good to do that until everything is cleaned up here. Right. Now we can start the boss fight. I'm pretty sure I put a Ming Tan generator in this. Target destroyed. Our work here is done, 6 2. Raven, I'm picking up something in the stratosphere. It's approaching fast. Go to. I've identified PCA SP. Special forces. You can't afford to take chances. Six to one. Eliminate them.
Well, we kind of wrecked him. Yeah, I wasn't really worried about the extra pay this time. We have almost 10 million in our inventory, so not really concerned about that. <laughs> One new message. Archivist Group Mercenary Liaison, V8 Pater here. Impressive work on the refueling base assault. V4 has left me a message addressed to you. I knew you could do it, buddy. Uh, that is we at the Archivist Group. It's gonna be an internet meme. You just watch. I knew you could do it, buddy. It's gonna happen. All right, I'm very curious. What do I have in this as a generator? Uh, I have Santia. Ooh. Why do I have a Santia in here? The quick boost speed is only 304. Why did I put a Santia in here? 321. I mean, honestly, even a Aurora would be better. 318, 305. 315, 370. Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, Ian capacity is high, though. I don't know. I guess I'll leave the Santia, Santia in there. All right. Um, let's go back in. Eliminate Swinburne. Okay, we'll do this real quick. This is that stealthy mission, but uh, we can knock this out real quick. We have a mech that is super quick. Last time we used him, he worked real well. Where is he at? Swift Surge. We'll just use him again. Actually, wait, I'm kind of curious. I built a one warrior speed mech. One warrior speed. I don't want to try him out just to see. He's not quite as fast as my other one. But he's pretty close, though. Let's try him. Just uh, knock this out real quick. Pretty sure we got all the logs in this mission too. We did it last time. We took out the. Uh, Raven, if you didn't, if you didn't know, the missing log in this level is uh, over there. It's a tetrapod, so it's back there in that back corner. Take out the cameras first, and then take out the tetrapod. And yeah, we did that last time. This isn't how the Liberation Front builds their ACs. Swinburne. Sorry, Swinburne, but you're dead this time. What the? Stop that! How dare you attack me with my back turn? I don't know who put you up to this, but clearly you need to be disciplined. I can't let 
those. Two repair kits remaining. Nope, no manners here. Because this guy's easier to take out than the other guy. Alright, Swim Burden's dead. According to my list, that it didn't matter whether I spare him or leave him alive for this ending. It doesn't matter. So, I thought, why not just eliminate him? Because he's actually easier than taking out uh, Swino uh, Shinobi. Shinobi's actually kind of hard. We took him out uh, last playthrough. We actually died to him the first time last time. How's it time. going, Walter? Hard to say. 621's still performing well, but... I doubt the voices have gone away. At any rate, whatever the voices are doesn't seem to be doing any harm. For now. I was asking about I you. I was asking about you, Walter. But whatever. I must have all these Bigger dialogue things. memorized already. The coral. You'd better find it. Turns out, don't spend too long. Raven, you have our gratitude for eliminating Swinburne. Some of us were worried that the enemy might have won you over. But it seems we can trust you after all. Glad to be on the same side. Yep, Liberation Front's who I'm with right now. Okay, eliminate enforcement squads and destroy special forces craft. So we have to eliminate enforcement squads on this playthrough. Now, if you don't remember, this is what we did the first time in the very first playthrough. And this is this is one of the hardest missions in the game, I think. It's not maybe not as hard as some of the destroy mission or the protect missions. But this one we struggled with a big time on our first playthrough. But we have a little we have a way we I think we'll be able to pull it off pretty easily this time. So let's uh, actually wait. What time are we at? 38 minutes. Uh, let's. Let's call it good now, and uh, next episode we'll take that on. So stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.